Hello, beautiful people. Vidette Mayer here. I want to thank you for stopping by and I want to just point out that we are getting the most amazing rainstorm here in Austin, Texas in the summer, which we don't get very often. So having it rain and getting this cleanse and the, the, the scent of the earth. I always tell my boys that the, the earth's always happy when it rains. You can smell her. You can smell her just you know emitting her happiness. So I think it's a beautiful time to bring you this video. And this video really is the fourth installment of this week's topic of consciousness and, and 2020. So we talked about the crucible of 2020 and how the the you know kind of the pressure and um and 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 the discomfort of 2020 is really helping three different collectives rise up and reveal themselves and these are the the different collectives and um viewpoints perspectives that people are taking in 2020 and then we moved on to the consciousness of 2020 and how emotional intelligence shows up for us so when we start to pay attention to the frequency of our emotions, we then raise up our vibrational energy in within so that on the outside, how we express ourselves ties into the emotional intelligence of the outside world. And as we rise and bring our frequency up, and we express from that place in the world, we are heard more and people will hear the messages that we have to bring in this time of, of fear and stress. And we can actually be that person that people will stop and listen to because we are coming from a higher frequency. And then we talked about the reality of 2020 and how reality is such a subjective, individualized, unique, part of who we are so the reality for each person is completely different so there's really nothing to go on reality is based on people's filters that they filter information and data through whether that data be from the outside world or from the inside world and we try to decipher them through the filters of our human mind and our heart mind our, our emotional intelligence and if those are, are kind of cluttered up, we cannot then see reality for what it is. There is an infinite amount of data that we cannot see because we are filtering such a small amount of that data into our, into our own energy centers. So then we move into the influences of 2020. So our experience of 2020 is a mix of all of these plus the influences. And what I mean about influences is who are you listening to? Who is giving you your information and what are you taking in as far as data? And what I am noticing is more and, and more humans looking outside of themselves for data. What do I do? How do I do this? I'm, I'm afraid and I just need to know, like, do I do this or do I do that? So where they turn then turns back on them as far as how they view reality. So I challenge you to take a look at who are you spending the most time with? Is, is, is that your family and friends? Is it the news? Where are you spending your time? Where are you getting your data? Are you going down the rabbit hole of different topics? Which a lot of people are, including myself. There are things where I'm like, ooh, do I need to check that out? And I go down the rabbit hole. And yet, here is where we have to stop. It doesn't matter where you have gotten your data on what to experience in 2020. That can just pause for a second. And I encourage you to then go inside into that wild part of you, that intuitive part of you. Remember, the emotional intelligence video was all about clearing all of the space in between the, the heart and, and basically the mind and the brain so that you can have a clear channel of communication. Until that happens, we get our data from outside and it's filtered up and we end up in the same issue of repeating cycles and patterns because it's all being filtered through the same filter. 
Therefore, when we get information, we're saying, yo, yes, you know, I should be very, very afraid because that's how you've mostly navigated life. When you start to do the work to clear out all of that so that you have a clear channel between or in your heart space, that part of you that's plugged into the infinite realm, which has a full bodied perspective on what is happening in our world, in our universe at the moment. So that is the part of you that you want to be leading you. When that is clear, you do not have to look to the news, to your family, to your friends for advice or for direction. You simply stop and tap into that space with a healthy, clear channel and you will know exactly what you need to do, how you need to be, and whatever it is that you want to expand into, that pathway will be lit step by step by this within. Nobody knows what they're doing right now. So when you turn to someone else and say, what are we gonna do? They're as clueless as you, even if they make you think that they're not. It is up to you to choose your path. And if that path is different from your friends or your family or what the news is telling you, it's a scary thing. However, it is a choice and I recommend choosing that because when you start to walk that pathway, even if you feel so alone, you probably will, you are going to feel so alone. You start walking that pathway and it just illuminates and the people, the next evolution of your network is going to appear path by path. Somebody will come in and say, I can help you. And you being a clear channel can listen to their message and discern if it feels truthful to you. And when it does, you include that person into your, your network, your energy network, your frequency. If they say something and you're like, hmm, that doesn't feel truthful. You don't need evidence as to why you don't have to argue your point. You say thank you for your perspective and you keep moving along and allow them to stay behind in your path. This is all about trusting you, your big you, your big, your big why. Yourself, your capital S self is the, your highest and best expression of you. And she is there to lead you into this next evolution of your life. And when you listen to her and tune everybody and everything out, out here, what then comes forth is this out here being exactly what you want to be and experience in life. Your external will, will reflect your internal, your inner, your inner self. Trust yourself, wild one. This is the time more than any other time for you to build trust in yourself and just be with that and take action based on this. The rest will take care of itself. Thank you for being here for this episode of this video series. I appreciate you. Come on over to vedettemayor.com slash social so you can find out other ways to work with me and hang out with me. I'll see you there. Bye.